Tu vas comme ça. Who is she to you? She's my wife. What can you say about what this well, is um, it started from the, first, the early stage of her pregnancy after she went to hospital and told her that her baby is bridge. So ever since then she started being scared. Holy Ghost. Swear the name of Jesus. Who caused the bridge presentation? Who caused it? Every time Tim Jesha, Tim Jesha, Tim Jesha. I don't know what she said. Who caused this brief presentation? Leave me alone, Joe. How do you enter? Go in and leave me. Thank you, Lord. Now go in Jesus' name. Let her give her to her baby in Jesus' name. Out! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Swear in the name of Jesus. Swear! Consume everything that is not of God. Swear in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Fuera el nombre de Jesús. Vemos, Out. vemos a esta mujer recibir su liberación. Thank you, Lord. Out. Thank you, Jesus, for our freedom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Esta Hello? mujer ha sido declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Gloria a Dios. El Santo Espíritu viene de meter fin a la reina del marido espiritual en la vida de esta mujer. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por esta liberación. Espectador permanece conectado. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for setting her free. Gloire à Dieu, la femme et son bébé sont délivrés au nom de Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Vemos al esposo recibir la administración. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Y esta familia ha sido declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Let's put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That was how God proved himself mightily in her life and the life of her family. We are here with her today. Madam, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Can you introduce yourself, the person sitting next to you, and share with us your beautiful testimony? Good morning, church. My name is Mrs. Akon Naya James. The person sitting next to me is my lovely husband, and this is my testimony. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations was I was having a lot of challenges when I was pregnant. So the problem started when I was small. I used to have nightmares. I was, sometimes I would find myself having cells in a dream. But you know, as a child, I did not really understand what was going on. So at a point in my life, even when I was small, I fall sick. At a point, my mother was scared. Maybe I'm going to die or something. She had to go and ask the doctor if I'm... An, a sickle cell, and the doctor said, no, I'm not sickle cell. A lot of things happened. So even my marriage uh, relationship was ups and down, ups and down. To God be the glory, I got married, and I was pregnant. At the early, early stage, pregnant, I was four or five months. My baby was bridged. So uh, the, when, I, when the baby was bridged, I was not okay. I don't feel normal. We go from, hospi from one hospital to another, from this to another. I was just scared, the spirit of fear and dead. So one day I, I was training with my mom. So I felt like something is want to come out, out of me. So I have to close my leg. So I was scared and I called the doctor that asked, see you. They were like, be careful, madam, you are going to lose this child. So the thing keeps disturbing me, fear, fear, fear. I'm always having dream that my, my child uh, is either I die or my child will die. So I was really having this fear, fear, fear. So we were opportunity to be at the church, and I was opportunity to be in the prayer line. I was prayed for and delivered. And we went back. We were opportunity. To be, they, they gave us. They gave me money, water to uh, anointing water to pray along with. My due, even when before we came to, I had just have two days to the due date. I was not falling into labor. No sign. Nothing. We go to every day. We are going to the hospital. In a day, we can go to the hospital three times in a day. We we'll go to the hospital, nothing, nothing. I was praying and praying, praying. So um, Tuesday, that was the day before I, I delivered my baby. Ma'am, sorry to interrupt you. Um, for the benefit of our viewers, how did you feel when the anointing water was being ministered to you? I was not myself. Like, it was as if there is light and uh, fire 
all over my body. I was not getting myself at all. I did not even know when I get to this front. I was not myself. I was not myself. So after I was delivered from the spiritual husband, we went to him that day I slept. I, before, I don't used to sleep. Mm, pregnant woman. It's only me that is pregnant woman that don't sleep. I'm always scared. I will not even allow my husband to go out. I will tell him, stay with me. He doesn't go out. It's either if he's going, I will follow him. I know that I'm not strong, but I will be following him because I cannot stay alone. So after the deliverance, we went home. I slept. I was okay. You know, but we are still, every, all, all my family, we are worried. Everybody, we are worried. Ah, that what happened. My friends will call me, ah, you never born. I don't even at the point I was ashamed to answer them. Ah, you never born, you never born. So, um, on that faithful day. When they say you never born, what do they mean by that? Like, uh, have you having to give him birth? Like, I don't even, sometimes I don't even, I will just smile, I'll be you, don't worry. You will soon hear the good news I, because I don't know what to tell them. I'm actually ashamed. So sometimes I will cry. My husband will say, don't worry, God's time is the best. So that faithful day, I was, I was watching Emmanuel TV. So daddy was praying. I was telling my mind that God of prophetic video showed that you should please, I want to come and give my own testimony. That anything that is holding this baby, that you should please restore me from this spirit of death and spirit of fear. So I placed my hand on the screen. Immediately, I felt one sensation. And after the prayer, I went inside the room. My husband immediately rushed me. Are you okay? I said, I'm fine. I was pressing my phone. It was not even up to five minutes. I started noticing some signs. Because all this while, we've been having so many magic. Like, the thing will come. And when we go to the hospital, they say, it's not labor. It's not labor. So, so many different things. And I, I kept... You mean forced labor? Yes, forced labor. So many different things. So, this one, I was just calm. I was watching. But this, uh, this one is not normal, the regular one that I used to notice. And I was calm. My husband came again. He asked me. I said, I'm fine. So, around after 11, the thing started. The labor started. So, my husband was like, okay, let's wait. I said, no, don't wait. Or let's be going to the hospital. That I, let's be going to the hospital. I'm getting to the hospital. It was as if I have not even started the journey. The way I was going to the hospital, I collect, I was holding my uh, um, anointing water. So when we get there, immediately they rushed me inside the labor room. When we got there, the baby was coming. It was going, coming, going, coming, going, coming, going. I was, it was hell for me. So I was just, I was, the only thing I was saying, I said, God of prophecy, just take, take more of me and give me more of it. I cannot do it alone. I cannot do it. I was just saying, take more of me and give me more of it. That was what I was saying. I keep saying it and saying it and saying it. So my husband was actually scared. He went to, my husband was very worried. He went to meet the doctor. Doctor, come and check her now. Doctor said, the doctor, sometimes the doctor will not even answer him. At a point, they asked him to go. Oh, yeah, go and bring baby things. So he left. So he said, we left. He came back again. He still meets me in the condition. So while I was in the labor, I, I closed my eyes. So when I closed my eyes, I saw daddy. Daddy was standing in, in front of me. Mommy was on when the left side. When you mean daddy, who do you mean? Uh, senior prophet T.B. Joshua. He was standing in front of my head. And that mommy was standing in... in at, yes, at my pastor Evelyn Joshua. So daddy, uh, prophet T.B. Joshua now said... Minister that money water on your body. Minister it. So I opened my eyes. Immediately I told the nurse that, please, minister this uh, anointing water on my body. She now ministered it and gave it back to me. Immediately, when I opened my leg, they're like, see your baby here, see your baby here, see your baby here. I was rushed into the labor. I was rushing into, into the favor room. It was not even up to a second. My baby came out with distress. Immediately, she started crying. She was not weak. Nothing. No, immediately, she come and she was crying. They didn't beat her to cry. She was ever since then. She has been healthy. And that same day, we still went back to home. I didn't even sleep in the hospital. So the, even the, the doctor was shocked because hey, they, before, before then they told them, my, my husband went to meet him. He now told my husband that 
if I didn't give birth before 12, that they were going to arrange me for operation. And my husband said that, Lila, my, my wife, they will not uh, operate her, that she will give birth before 12. I gave birth around 10.44. It was not up to 12. Thank God for what he has done in your life and the life of the family. So where is the baby and what is the baby's name? This is my blessing. This is my baby and her name is James Zoe. Shall we put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? With the goodness of God in your life, what word of advice do you have for people listening to you now? My word of advice goes like this. Always trust in God. Don't lose hope. God answers all prayer. Always hope and trust in God. He will never fail you. Amen. So let's listen to your husband. About the goodness of God in the life of your wife. And please introduce yourself. Good morning, George. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Henry James. Beside me is my beautiful wife. Beside me is my beautiful wife, Akuna James, and my beautiful daughter, Zoe James. I thank God for what God did in, did in our life. During my wife's pregnancy, okay. during my wife's pregnancy, she complained so many times of uh, being scared. Sometimes she wake up in the night and told me that she had a bad dream. So this problem keeps repeating itself. So at the point we went to hospital, they told her that the baby was breached. And it made us to go to several hospitals. Sometimes any small thing, I would say, okay, let's go to the hospital. And after going to a particular hospital, we'd go to another different hospital. And during that period, I'm the one doing everything because I was like, okay, don't do anything. So I'm the one that cook, wash the clothes, do all house choice. So this thing keep happening. And we didn't know that it was the spiritual husband that delayed, that caused all these things. And even when it got to time of delivery, that was another story. So we decided to come to synagogue church. So the day we came, God exposed the enemy and she was delivered. So after that day, we went home. And because during that time, sometimes she would just be angry and she would be acting up. I didn't know that it was because of the spiritual husband. So when we went home, all those things were over. And through the help of anointing water, because she told me that she must go into the labor room with anointing water. So we forgot so kind. We came here, we got the anointing water. On that day, she went to, we went to hospital and through the administration of the anointing water, she gave birth safely and sound. And God made everything possible. And our baby is healthy. As you can see, the, the mother is fine and the baby is fine. Shall we put our hands together to, for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? So how do you feel now that you're a father? Well, I'm so happy. And I thank God for everything. I'm the most happiest man on earth because after everything God gave, through the anointing water, God gave us victory. I thank God. So what message do you have for people listening to you now? Oh, my word of advice is um, in any situation, it's only God that has the final say. Because I can remember when the doctor told me that once it is, once, if, once it is 12, that if my wife didn't give put to bed, that they're going to operate her. So I was like, no, my wife will never uh, put to bed by operation because she knows the God she serves. She told me that God of TV, the God of TV, Joshua never fails. So today, I thank God that everything that she came out safely and the baby is fine. Amen. And indeed, God has the final say. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de esta familia, este matrimonio que viene 
gloriosamente a dar este testimonio del nacimiento de un parto seguro. La mamá nos comenta que ya estaba enfrentando eh, un espíritu de temor tremendo debido a la influencia de un esposo espiritual. Ella tenía durante su embarazo mucho miedo, mucho temor a morir, mucho temor a perder a su bebé, ya que siempre estaba enferma. El papá la estaba llevando de hospital en hospital, pero nadie era capaz de, de dar con la solución. Ella estaba bajo el efecto de este esposo espiritual, de este espíritu de temor, de este espíritu de muerte, hasta que decidió buscar de Dios y venir a la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones, eh, donde, como hemos visto en pantalla, ella fue liberada mediante el poder de Dios a través del evangelista. Ella nos comenta que después de esto, cuando se puso de parto, este espíritu de temor la abandonó, ella pudo en el hospital, se ministró el agua de unción que había obtenido aquí en la Escoan y pudo dar a luz un parto seguro. Vemos aquí a esta preciosa bebé. El Padre nos aconseja que sea cual sea la situación, siempre corre hacia Dios porque Él es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por la vida a esta familia en el nombre de Jesús. Espectadores, continúen conectados. Tel est le magnifique témoignage qui nous vient de la famille James. La mère raconte que depuis son enfance, elle rêvait qu'elle avait des rapports sexuels avec un homme dans son rêve. Et également, lorsqu'elle s'est mariée, elle avait trouvé une difficulté à avoir un enfant. Et là, lorsqu'elle est tombée enceinte, malheureusement, le bébé a pris la position de siège. Cela a rendu et a causé en elle la peur et l'esprit de mort. Dans deux contextes, que la famille a décidé de venir ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations pour chercher la foi du Seigneur. Arrivé, on a prié pour elle, elle a reçu la délivrance et on lui a donné l'eau d'onction. Elle a continué à annoncer l'eau d'onction lorsqu'elle priait à la maison. Et un jour, lorsque le temps est arrivé pour enfanter, elle est partie à l'hôpital. Et là, on lui a dit que si son, si son est déjà midi et qu'elle n'a pas enfanté, on allait l'opérer. Et par la grâce de Dieu, lorsqu'elle somnolait un peu, elle a vu le prophète Ebi Joshua et notre maman dans le Seigneur, pasteur Evelyne Joshua, en train de lui dire qu'il faut qu'elle administre l'eau d'onction dans sa partie intime. Après l'avoir fait, quelques secondes après, l'enfant est né, pour la gloire de Dieu. Et comme conseil, Dieu ne déçoit jamais et que c'est Dieu qui a le dernier mot. This is how far we can go regarding testimonies of what God Almighty has done in the life. 